Hello, everybody at Holden Chapel. It is Sunday, January 20th, and the rumors you've been hearing are true. Church is canceled for today. We are sad. Can't be with you and uh, worship together. Uh, I know videos are no substitute for worshiping and being with your friends and uh, God's people, but nonetheless, I wanted to share something I've been wrestling with as we've been going through this friendship series and see what your thoughts are. I've, I've been wondering, as we've been talking about friendship, is it possible to have uh, too many friends? I was thinking about this recently because there was this article that came out in Relevant Magazine where the they were saying... When it comes to friendship, quality is better than quantity. And they were saying they were trying to make a case for fewer friendships. Uh, you know, they were saying if you look at Jesus's life, you know, even though he had crowds following him, he really only had like twelve, tr like close disciples or friends, and even within that group. There was even like three that he spent, uh, that he especially liked, and then he spent the most time with. They said, if you want to be like Jesus, you should have less friends. They said, if you have less friends, you can enter into riskier relationships, ones that are uh, more genuine. And and they were making the case for fewer friendships. And I was wondering, is that right? Um, should we should we be looking for less? friendships, but friendships that are deeper, that are more genuine, maybe, um, more riskier. I've been going kind of back and forth on this. I know we've been saying, you know, a couple weeks ago, we said friendship is God's eternal goal for God's people. Clearly, it's something that God wants for all of us. We've seen it in Genesis 1, 2, and 3, and we see it in Revelation 22. We see it all the way through Scripture. Uh, friendship is clearly something that we should be engaging in as Christians. We should be showing to the world um, what friendship can look like and, and how that can add to, um, to our lives. And then we also looked at Jesus last week. We talked about our loneliness epidemic, America's epidemic of loneliness and technology. All of our technology solutions aren't getting rid of our loneliness, unfortunately. So we looked at some aspects of Jesus you know, he said Jesus loves to listen carefully. He he loves to be there for people. He's compassionate. He spoke the truth in love. And we want to be these kind of people. And, and we're going to start thinking about what gets in the way of friendship and and how we can overcome those, those barriers. Obviously, one of the biggest um, things that gets in the way is time. We we, we don't have as much time as we want. We're all strapped for time. And so with the little time that I have to develop friendships, should I be trying to create more friendships and, and widening my circle of friendships as a Christian? Or should I be actually intentionally slowing down and building into the friendships that I already have? And, and should I be okay with less friendships? Because a friendship, a true friendship, takes a lot of time. So what do I do? What's better? Is it better to have more friends? Or is it better to have less friends? I was looking at scripture and I feel like it could almost go either way. I was looking at some of the Proverbs. And and some of the Proverbs seem to, seem to push us in the direction of spending time with fewer friendships. Because it's difficult to find that. It's difficult to maintain that, but that's really valuable. I was looking at Proverbs 18.24. Proverbs 18.24 says, A man of many companions may come to ruin, but there is a friend who sticks closer than a brother. Saying there's someone, if you can have a bunch of associates or companions, and you might come to ruin, but there's someone... There's a friend, it says, who sticks closer than a brother. Someone who can stick closer to you than even family. Proverbs 19.4 says, Wealth brings many friends, but a poor man's friend 
deserts him, saying, there, there are people who will be with you in, in the good times, um, but, but what we need are the people who are there with us uh, in the hard times. We need a true friend. Reminds me of this uh, quote from William Arnott, who's like a Scottish pastor. He says, many will court you while you have much to give, but when you need to receive, the number of your friends will be diminished. Your misfortune, like a blast of wind upon the thrashed corn, will drive the chaff away, but the wheat will remain where it was. How very sweet is the human friendship that remains when sore adversity has sifted it. This idea that, and who are the people who are going to have your back even when it gets really difficult? Or it's like that famous passage in the Lord of the Rings where a Frodo is, is having a hard time. He's trying to figure out what to do and he keeps thinking about leaving his friends. He doesn't want his friends to have to go through all the difficulty of, and the challenge of, of the ring. And and at one point they say to us, Frodo, you can trust us to stick to you through thick and thin to the bitter end. And you can trust us to keep any secret of yours closer than you yourself keep it. Then they say, but you cannot trust us to let you face trouble alone and go off without a word. We are your friends, Frodo. They say, anyway, there it is. We know most of what Gandalf has told you. We know a good deal about the ring. We are horribly afraid, but we are coming with you and we are following you like hounds. This this friendship, this type of friendship is, I think, the friendship that we look for. And scripture encourages us to look for it. Proverbs 20, verse 6. Many a man claims to have unfailing love, but a faithful friend who can find isn't that what we are looking for? Not people who just have those empty wor- words, but someone who is faithful to us. Pro- Proverbs 27, verses 9 to 10, says something very similar. It says, Perfume and incense bring joy to the heart, and the pleasantness of one's friend springs from his earnest counsel. How sweet smelling is it when the friend who knows us, who loves us, can tell us truth, can give us appropriate counsel. It says in Proverbs 27.10, Do not forsake your friend and the friend of your father, and do not go to your brother's house when disaster strikes you. Better a near, near neighbor nearby than a brother far away. A friend is someone who knows how to be close, who knows how to take care of you in the good times and in the bad time. And one more passage that really, I think, encourages us to to burrow deep into those friendships, develop those friendships more, is Proverbs 27, 17. As iron sharpens iron, so one man sharpens another. Scripture is constantly encouraging us to develop those friendships. And so so I, I could look at those passages and say, well, maybe it is better to just have a f- fewer friends and, and to develop those friendships deeper. But there are also passages that seem to push us in the opposite direction. Uh, Proverbs 15.22 Proverbs 15.22 say plans fail for lack of counsel, but with many advisors. They succeed. So this one is saying, the more help you can get, the better. Plans fail for lack of counsel, but with many advisors, they succeed. Proverbs 15, 22. So is it better then to, to try to develop multiple friendships? Because maybe maybe it's sometimes better to, to get a second opinion. Um, and one more, Proverbs 24, verse 6. It says, for waging war, you need guidance. And for victory, you need many advisors. Again, there are places in that we get to in life where sometimes it's better to, to get some more input. Maybe, maybe there are places that we get to in life where we, we really need more than a friend or two. Maybe we need multiple people helping us. I like this quote from uh, another pastor. His name is Gordon. He says, There is a certain niceness 
to a friendship where I can be as they say myself. But what I really need are relationships in which I will be encouraged to become better than myself. Myself needs to grow a little each day. I don't want to be the myself I was yesterday. I want to be the myself that is developing each day to be more of a Christ-like person. So this month, we're emphasizing friendships. We're saying friendships are the, the way to become more like Christ. And I guess my question for you is, is God calling us as a church, and even is God calling you as an individual to a to a deeper life of friendship? Is this the time where you need to, to focus more on one or maybe even two friendships in your life? Or is God calling you to expand that circle and, and to try to create more friendships uh, so that in that time when you need, you've got multiple people to hear from? Um, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Is it better to have a few? Is it better to have more? Does it all depend on the life situation? Um, but but time is one of those things that gets in the way. We don't have all day for this. And so how do we prioritize our time? So I hope that gives you something to think about, gives you some scriptures to wrestle over uh, this week. We miss you. I wish I could be with you today. Um, but, but God bless you, and I pray your worship today and your rest is... Um, it allows you to uh, draw closer to, to Jesus.